These are strange times we are living in. The world's getting more polarized. The temperature keeps rising and New York turned into Diablo 4. At this point, I am sure God herself is writing fanfiction of our reality. Because this is starting to feel very much like an alternate universe. During these stressful times, one can try to work on improving themselves despite the world's hazardous state and try to fight it. Others, like me, turn to fanfiction to lose ourselves in. And there's one fic in particular that always manages to lift my spirits and give me the fuzzy whizzy. It is a fanfic based on the Batman universe called The Villain Wrangler. You might be wondering how a Batman fanfic can be wholesome. Or you might be thinking of Batman showing off his sick bat stick to one of his bat lovers and then doing the wholesome horizontal tango. This is not that kind of fic. Well, you might wonder if it is a fluff fic. But you'd be surprised again. This fanfic has villains, terrorists, demons, and psychopaths. Basically Batman's whole rogues gallery is there. Yet, this fanfic is most likely one of my favorites. It is called The Villain Wrangler. Written by Lilacwek. Basically, to spoil the premise for the people who are still in the dark, it follows a man who works for an institution similar to the Make a Wish Foundation. Except, one day, a terminally ill child does not want to speak to a hero but to a villain. Now, this villain is not someone like Kanye West or Jeffrey Bezos. No, this kid wants to see a famous bioterrorist before she passes away. So, being determined to see this wish fulfilled, our protagonist finds Poison Ivy and bargains with her to fulfill this poor kid's final fantasy. And this madlet actually manages to get the girl to meet the villainess she wanted. And this description is just chapter 1. Chapter 2 Features A kid who wants to meet Captain Cold. Horrible choice in my book. But our main protagonist will go through hell to make the sick child's dying wish come true. It is a simple premise that works surprisingly well and pulls on all the wires of even the most mechanical of hearts. The best part of the fanfic are the villains that, despite their track record of being complete monsters, they still take their time to help a child, proving that even monsters have hearts. And that, given the chance, Anyone can do better. It is a fanfic that just works because it makes you smile. I like to end on that positive note. However, sadly, I cannot. Despite my lack of uploads and consistency, I have accumulated over 100 subscribers. I like to take this as scientific proof that God does, indeed, make mistakes. This is the part where I show my Discord channel to you. It is a great Discord server for fanfiction where at least half of all active people read fanfiction. You can find it on my YouTube about page. Joining the Discord means you'll agree to be creatively exploited and you'll be at the total mercy of the overseers. This was your generic self-insert. Thank you for 100 subscribers and making me win a bet about 100 people at least having bad taste. Like me.